Then you got your microwave in front of you? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. I had a problem um, with uh, my security, maybe my mobile phone. You see, it's a long story, but I'll try to be brief. I've been living here for six years, on my own, independent. So the first three years, everything was peaceful, no problems with the neighbors. Three years after that, the sixth year, um... Have you been cleaning in here? Yeah. Okay. It smells like ammonia. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Well, yeah, it's like the third year, right on the third year, not the sixth year, but the third year. Um, someone in B15 came by, you saw, because two people moved out, a male and a female couple, and so another couple moved in. The black neighbors are they are living in there right now. Okay, so what happened today? I'm just trying to get to the point. What happened? My security, uh, I don't have a phone to use because my Street Talk service have not been renewed, auto-renewed, uh -huh. and I don't have any access to my money that's supposed to be from SSI or Social Security Administration uh -huh. on Timberlake Road. Uh -huh. uh, they entrust this uh, uh, payee service to handle that for me, and it's a privately owned service owned by Bethany Reeves, a female okay. named Bethany Reeves. And I haven't been able to contact her lately. She seemed to be very neglected about looking into my issues as far as my living situation. Have you spoke to Social Security about this? I tried to contact them as well multiple times, but I haven't gotten any answers. So I even, it is a weekend. Have you tried it like nine to wait till Monday and try it? Go down to the office and talk to them? I tried yeah. multiple times on weekdays. They just, I even left a letter, like, like a whole essay, just describing everything I went through with links. To my Google Drive, because it's like a journal I put in there, describing all the images I saw Are of you people still terrorizing. The dispatch? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. But it described everything, and yet I haven't got any messages in return, no replies, so, not from Social Security. So what do you want us to do? Anything you can to help, because it seems like they're just letting these particular thieves that are very anonymous take advantage of me. They just let them take advantage of me and all my hard work. And it's not it's not right at all. Because I, I set up these cameras myself. I ordered online. I picked it up. You still have all your cameras in the windows and stuff? Yeah, most of them. Um, I still have, like, some in my digital safe. One of them I can't have access to because I feel that somebody used my mom on a visit. This is how I feel. I feel they used her to actually take my cartridge, my battery cartridge, so what now mean, I can't get in. What do you mean they used your mom? What do you mean by that? Well, my cousin, Teresa Jones, she's like the evil, what do you call it, influence in the family. She's been hanging out with my mom, and my mom warned me to stay away from her, so that doesn't even sound right. So why would she want me to stay away from Teresa, and yet she's always contacting her, unless she did something to her mind. So she possessed her? Brainwashed, maybe. Through blackmail, threatening if she doesn't follow her orders, she's going to do something terrible. But either way, it's attached to whoever's been doing this on um, criminal acts from the attic area. From the what? Attic area, because there's a door leading up there. The attic area. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I, w I would have checked it myself, but it, it seems like it could be dangerous because they could be well armed. But um, not only that, but my neighbors are also very suspicious on stealing from me, even through cyberware, because they had, uh, I tracked a Google Nexus phone trying to get into my laptop. It was a uh, uh, Dell Latitude laptop, my best one. And I also tracked, what else? My Xfinity account. I checked it one day early in the year, probably like two years ago. It was my neighbor beneath here, Latino neighbor known as Tico. That's not his real name. He's Elias, most likely. But even the Elias resembles that he's trying to get me evicted. But I caught his phone on my Google account, and it shouldn't be there because he had his ETE. I do not own that phone. Well, I mean, I saw him here on Facebook. Same thing with the disability thing. I talked to Social Security about it. They can't do anything about that. Really? They handle criminal matters, which sounds civil. 
Well, I was wrongly accused, diagnosed with a condition that I don't believe I have. I mean, I have problems, but not the problems they diagnosed me with. So I was eligible for disability, and somebody provoked my mom to actually refer me to, you know, their program. So I was trusting her decision, and it didn't really work out for me the way it should. So, yeah, there's something really bad about the system. I'm independent anyway, but still, I don't have anyone that's, that can handle my money correctly because I can't contact SSI. I would try on Monday when they open up the business. But we can't do anything about that, especially with it being like 4 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So as far as I know right now, the only way I can contact anyone is through 911. I can't be used to, um, what do you call it, the dispatch number. Because there's no phone service. Bethany Reeves was responsible for my money because she's the only one who has control over it right now. I can't leave this area unprotected because people are going to steal everything they can get their hands on. People in this neighborhood. There's only me guarding this. All right, well, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it right now. Is there anything else? Uh, yes, I can explain more. Um, YouTube, you use it, don't you? Do you know of YouTube Network? How is that relevant to what we're talking about? It has just about all the, it's like the easiest way I can explain with images. Because I have a whole playlist of it listed of everything that I've recorded that's suspicious related to job course when I graduated, students coming by here, all the way from Bedford, 691 Pinecrest Avenue, all the way here. They showed up and they actually had, um, what do you call it? Yeah, they actually paid visits to apartment B-15. Okay, again, how is that relevant to what we're here now? Because um, Bedford had problems with this as well. The crime rate escalated and they had uh, they handed out flyers saying that there was like several attempts of criminal acts in the neighborhood and we had to stick by a curfew. We could not stay outside at night for long. Because it was getting dangerous. That was Bedford, we're in Lynchburg City. Yeah, they spread it over here too, and it's getting worse. There's been riots over here. I have that recorded as well. I don't know exactly what it was about, but yes, it seems relevant. All right, is there anything else you can help me with tonight? Uh, if you want the access to uh, the YouTube channel, the best way to access it. Easily would be use any account, just um, use the search bar, type in Mystic Seven, and then without any spaces, put the wait a minute, wait a minute, right beside Mystic Seven, and you'll see that door. It just shows this portion because I had a camera set up like right here, and you see the front door, and then I actually show my maintenance man that used to be here, Bill, and you can click on the big M. And they'll take you to a playlist. If you look at the playlist, you should see all the material, all the videos, videos of the playlist. All right. Well, Different unless the time has happened today, we're going to get out of here, okay? Okay. Well, um, thank you for your time. And... What does the two glasses mean today? Oh, it's just, they're just our glasses. It's just something extra, just in case of an emergency. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll check it out. Make sure everything's okay. We'll check the website and try to get everything back on task for you, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. And what was your name one more time? I'm Officer Campbell. Campbell, okay. Thank you for coming.